Hello everyone, this is Totally Random, back here with another video. In this article from ESPN, Lou Anna Simon announces resignation as Michigan State president. Michigan State University President Lou Anna si Simon announced her... Did I say Simon? My bad, guys. I, second, I sometimes pronounce names weird. It's Simon. All right. Uh, Michigan State University President Lou... Louis Anna Simon announced her, or Lou, I don't know, announced her resignation on Wednesday, the same day that former MSU doctor Larry Nassar was sentenced to 40 to 175 years for criminal sexual, mis sexual conduct involving more than 100 girls and women over more than two decades. Nassar committed the abuse when he was supposed to be treating the girls and women for injuries in a sports clinic on Michigan State's campus. Many of the women who spoke at a sentencing hearing for Nassar in the past week blamed the university for missing opportunities to stop his abuse earlier. In a letter on the university website announcing her resignation, Simon said, The last year and a half has been very difficult for the victims of Larry Nassar, for the university community, and for me personally. To the survivors, I can never say enough that I'm so sorry that a trusted, renowned physician was really such an evil, evil person who inflicted such harm under the guise of medical treatment. As tragedies are po politicized, blame is inevitable. As president, it is only natural that I am the focus of this anger. Throughout my career, I've worked very hard to put Team MSU first. I've tried to make it not about me, therefore I am tendering my resignation as president. Simon has spent her entire career from the mid-1970s on at the university. The chairman of the Michigan State Board of Trustees, Brian Breslin, said in the same online announcement, President Simon has offered her resignation to the Board of Trustees and we will accept it. We agree with Dr. Simon that it is now time for change. We'll be working through the details of transition with President Simon through the rest of the week and we'll announce them as soon as we can. Two of Michigan State's eight governing board members had called on Simon to resign. Trustee Diane Byram released a statement Wednesday evening saying she was support she supported Simon's immediate resignation. The Board of Trustees met Friday for five hours before giving Simon a public vote of confidence, but fractures among its members became public a day later. Trustee Mitch Lyons said Saturday night that he thought Simon needed to step down because the public's trust in her leadership was irreparably damaged. On Thursday, in the wake of Simon's resignation, Lyons said in a statement, through too long coming, there's no joy in the board receiving President Simon's resignation. What it lacked in personal accountability, it accomplished in beginning to take responsibility as an institution and is the next step in the path forward for MSU. For our students, our faculty, and our alumni, my prayer is that we continue to keep the survivors and their well-being at the forefront throughout this process. Michigan State House of Representatives called on Simon to resign in a... Uh, a uh, resolution passed Wednesday afternoon. The MSU Board of Trustees met Wednesday to discuss ongoing litigation in civil suits related to the Nazar case that the list the univer that lists the university as a co-defendant. Simon's resignation was welcomed in the state legislature, where pressure had been building for her to step down or to be ousted by the university's Board of Trustees. Senator Curtis Hurdle Jr., a Democrat from East Lansing, where the campus is located, called it an important step forward in moving a step in moving the university forward. We need to create a culture at Michigan State where survivors are listened to and listened, Hurdle said. I don't think that's what that's happened, not just in this case. I don't think anyone could say say that Lou and Simon hasn't been a great accomplishment. But I think in this case her actions did not meet the leadership that we need at Michigan State. Hurdle, who graduated from Michigan State, said further investigation is in needed. State Attorney General Bill Schrute will review how Michigan State handled the allegations about Nassar, and the NCAA has asked the school for information regarding potential violations related to Nassar. We need to find out beyond the president's office who had reports and didn't act, Hurdle said. The fallout included Michigan State Professor Sue Carter stepping down as the faculty's athletic representative. I had an exchange recently with President Simon that persuaded me to know my voice and the concerns of others not being heard. Carter said, I can no longer be part of an administration that was not in full grasp of the damage that has been done to girls and women and to the institution itself. On Tuesday, former U.S. national champion gymnast Maddie Larson called on U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan to push through a proposed law that would stiff mandatory, that would stiff mandatory reporter laws for U.S. amateur athletics athletics organizations. Her plea prompted a response from Ryan's office on Wednesday. 
This past June, the House of Representatives passed the Protecting Young Victims from Sexual Abuse Act, a bill introduced by Representative Susan Brooks. Later, the Senate passed its own version, said Jenna Sakwa, a spokesman for Ryan. Right now, we're working for we are working to reconcile the two different bills into final legislation, and the House could vote on that as early as next week. So, that is what we have for right now. Um, this abuse thing has gone far enough, and the president rightfully has stepped down like probably they should have. That's what most presidents should do in these types of scandals. Um, so, like I said... Um, Please subscribe. The goal is to get to 20 subscribers by the end of the week. Um, comment below with whatever you want to say. Um, like this video, share this video, and most importantly, subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button right now, and I'll get back to you with another video soon. So, peace out.